principal of a high school in the South Metro is on Lee following news that shocked his students and stunned his bosses. Timothy Dorway is a principal at Chanhassen High School. He was arrested at his home this morning for a suspicion of possessing child pornography. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield is outside the East Carver School District office. And Susan Elizabeth, did, did they see this coming? Amelia, the answer to that, no, not at all. District officials reported to work this morning. It was a normal Tuesday. Then they got a call and it changed everything. On a schedule, but nothing went as planned. It's a hard day for the school, it's a hard day for the district, and it's hard for our community. When Brad Johnson <laughs> headed into work, the district spokesperson got a call. Sheriff's department was executing a search warrant and uh, shortly thereafter the, an arrest was going to be made. So the very first thing we heard was this morning. The BCA says they searched the school that 44-year-old Tim Dorway leads each day. They also searched his home. They believe he had child pornography. Yep, we want our parents to know that based on all the information we've received so far, there is no indication that students are connected. But students and grads were clearly affected by the news. And then I checked Twitter and Facebook, and it's really blowing up. Calvin Tennis works with lots of Chan Hazen graduates at this hockey shop. He graduated from the school in 2013. Doorway was his principal. He was trying to build a culture of excellence. I mean, he was definitely, like I said, very active, and it wasn't like, you know, in middle school or even in elementary school where you only saw the principal if you were in trouble. He was always, you know, out in the hallways and talking to students and seeing how their day was going and stuff like that. Now the hallways will be more empty. Doorway is on paid leave while the district does its own investigation, ending a day they never saw coming. Now teachers were the first to get the news today. They were taken aside. They were offered counseling if they needed it. Then they returned to their classrooms and they read a prepared statement to the students there. Parents also got an email. We want to show you in part what that email said. It, this is from the superintendent. It says this will be a difficult time and we will get through it. Our work on this situation is only beginning. The superintendent says he knows there are tons of questions right now. They hope to have more answers in the next two days. All right, Susan Elizabeth, thank you.